Hey, this is Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. Hope you're doing well. I'm in Orange Crossroads, Alabama. It's the town, it's the area I grew up in. Uh, when I was 13, I moved to North Carolina. And as you can see from the area here, had a nice lane here that we could play in and had uh, pastures back over here for our horses. And then I had my cousins that lived down there and as I've been here for a few days and have spent a little time reflecting, thinking about, you know, uh, where I am in life at 46, I'll be 47 uh, this month, um, how things have gone, how things were growing up. You know, when you um, go back and look at what things were like when you were young, right? Uh, where you were, who your friends were, who you spent time with, you kind of do some reflection, and reflecting's not bad, right? To look back and analyze how things have gone, um, it's good to do that. Uh, it can teach you a lot of things. It can teach you uh, things that you should do more of, because you'll see, hey, that, that worked well. It will uh, also show you, you know, what not to do, who you shouldn't hang around with? What kind of friends have you chosen? Should you choose those again? Or the decisions you've made or the people that you spend time with? Uh, but you have to be careful with reflecting, right? Because it can, it, like I said, it can bring a lot of joy. It can bring a lot of good things. It can, you know, remind you of a lot of things. But at the same time, it can uh, depress you. It can bring up things of, of hurt and you know, decisions that you've made. And I know, I don't know about you, but I know in my life, I've made some bad decisions. I've made some wrong choices, some things that led me down a path I didn't want to be on. But, you know, God forgives us of our sins. Uh, when we ask for it, when we, when we ask God to forgive us, he forgives us and he forgets about it. So, and, I, and I've been there. If you find yourself stuck in that rut, you know, where you're just constantly, oh, I can't believe I did that. And it's resulted in this, and I don't know how I'm going to get out of it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, first, take it to God, right? Ask God to forgive you of it. Admit what you've done. Admit your role in the situation or whatever it is and ask for his forgiveness. And once he's forgiven you, then work on forgiving yourself. You know, if God's forgiven you, you can forgive yourself. And there's no reason. There's no reason to stay stuck in that rut, in that reflection, in that going through your mind. Had I done this or had I not done that or had this gone different or had this result been different, I wouldn't be here. Because when you're doing that, you never get anywhere except into more misery and except into more depression, except into more of doing nothing. And that's not good for you. It's not good for your health. It's not good for your relationship with others. It's not good for your relationship with God. And so I just kind of thought about that. And I wanted to share that with you as I walked through my childhood memories. I've not slept on Honeysuckle Lane since 1985. That's a, a lot of years ago. And it was good. It was good to walk down memory lane. Uh, but these are memories that are in the past. And they're good to remember about. But it's not things I, I can't sit around and focus on all the good things that happened in the past or, any, or the bad things. I've got to focus on what I'm currently doing for God and what I'm going to do for God. What I'm going to do in my life, what I'm going to do with my business, what I'm going to do with my family, what I'm going to do with my wife and my daughter. And I want to encourage you, do the same. Yes, reflect to the past. Think about what's going on in the past. But also really dig in and start thinking about where are you today? What are you doing? What are you doing for God? What are you doing for others? What are you going to do for them? And see what God does in your life. I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little message here. I hope you'll share it with others, and I hope you'll take a moment and review this podcast. I hope you'll share it with others, and I hope you'll help to continue to grow the Handling Life ministry. And if you want to learn more, visit handlinglife.org.